All right, so this is the new 1.5 special program. Uh, it's 47 minutes, but let's check it out together. Once upon a time, two twins traveled together throughout the universe. But oh, they got the voice day, actor for the dong here, blocked, too. And they were What's up, oh my? How look at the 19, brother? How you doing? Ether! Lumine! And now the two of them are finally reunited. The lip sync? In the Genshin Impact version 1.5 special program! Oh, that's Yay! his normal voice. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. I'm Any Zach Aguilar, and I voice the, the male traveler addiction? Ether in Genshin Impact. Hey, everyone. I'm Sarah Miller Cruz, and I voice the female traveler Lumine. Don't it's so great that we're together GT for this man, program. Thanks for giving us stuff to Eddie Especially since Live our characters too. finally had a chance to it's meet fresh in Genshin yes. 1.4. I know, tell me about it. I'm so glad that they invited me to the show. I've always been super curious about what it's like to do a special program. Mm. It always looked like you and Karina were having so much fun in the previous ones. <laughs> hey, that's what the special program is <laughs> all about. And today it's always certainly the fake. won't be an exception. <laughs> yeah, we are joined I know. By Keith Silverstein. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I like the trumpet there. Very nice. Hi, everybody. My name's Keith Silverstein, and I voice Zhang Li. Consultant for the Wang Sheng funeral party. He voices Impact. like every evil person ever. <laughs> are yes, Mr. Zhang Li himself. <laughs> thing are they using? Is really Morax. That what animation thing are they using? It's just chibis. I don't know. That's right. The Geo Archon, widely respected as Rex Lapis, the god of contracts himself. Whew, talk about a list of titles. And that is Yo, exactly no, what's, what's why up, I Dustin? leave the introductions to you, Zach. Honestly, it's so hard to express how much we love your performance in the game, Keith. And by we, I obviously mean myself and a lot of other players. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> wow. it, is, uh, it is really an honor to uh, play a role that's loved by so many, myself included, of course. And uh, come on, how exciting is this? I, I'm so excited that I'm doing a version preview with you guys. This is going to be great. Yeah. So why don't we take a quick moment to thank our viewers for joining us today and for their amazing support of Genshin Impact. Thank you so, so much, everyone. Yes, big thank you to the entire Genshin Impact community. Thanks for your love and support. Damn, he said like, yeah, yeah, thanks, thanks, guys. Now get the fuck out of my goddamn kitchen. Like, it, it was just, he didn't really give a fuck about that. Zong Daddy's just like, fuck y'all. So, Keith, Dude. what do you think of Genshin Impact so far? Well, I mean, we all know it's an amazing game. I mean, uh... Right off the bat, it's Oh, GT Man, thanks for giving us stuff to Brawling. The graphics, Brown. the character design, everything. But the thing that really has blown me away has really been just the fan base. Just that this game is so popular worldwide, and uh, mm. I mean, oh, it's a such an train. honor thanks, to be a part of something like that. Totally agree. I've I mean, it's the only anime game out right now that's, and you know, currently decent. Currently, I'm still on the grind. Uh, I just love the gameplay. The graphics are absolutely beautiful. And I also love playing the game on my phone whenever I can't get to my PC. Okay, so here's a question, Zach. He's in days you gone too. He's in like a lot of games. One point four so far. He's like in almost know, every ah, single game so ever, dude. Because I love all the mini games. And Cyber but I think my favorite Tech one Werewolf is thanks Ballads for the of gifted Breeze. sub. And I Broski, just love getting out my liar too as you. I travel around to Vat and play my random little songs. Three, two, one, respawn <laughs> with cool. the new sub Sharing out here. Musical genius. And also the soul. Let's not let's not go too far there, Zach. Big booty slaps the new people of the community. Welcome. Uh, anyways, I believe hey. many of our viewers are waiting to hear more about Thanks, what's guys. in store for version 1.5. So why don't we start things off with a quick overview? Sounds great. All right, Take quick overview out uh, here. You got Bailed it. on with in version 1.5. We'll have some brand new dude. characters. Yo, several boom. cool new monsters. Slap that ass and out of here. Thank you, man. Special events. We'll also have an all new feature to explore. And as always, there will be some optimizations and adjustments to our overall gaming oh. experience. Wow, very nice. <laughs> Aside from <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, just the way he said that. All the new content, Genshin Impact is also having its native release for PlayStation 5 on April 28th. All right. The same day version 1.5 comes online. So that's definitely exciting. Totally. It's great news for our PlayStation 5 players. So, Brawl or Original? <laughs> uh, you'll find out. There's out there. Yeah, we'll get our first glimpse of version 1.5 from the trailer. But before we get to that, I'd like to remind our viewers that we'll be giving away redemption codes throughout the stream. Oh. In terms of primo gems, we have primo gems. 
Yeah. yeah, and just remember that they might appear at any time during the show. Oh, yeah, that's so right. Make sure to, sure to claim uh, your okay, primo gem rewards, mad lads, okay? Impact version I, I already claimed all mine, the but yeah. Uh, don't worry, they'll, they'll show up here. and Make sure you can claim them. They expire, I think, at the end of the day, so make if sure you get them. Fated, we will meet again. More Nanti memes? We'll see how that goes. Yeah, 300 free primos. Oh, Pog. New shit. What is this? It must have been about four or five days ago. There were a few men who came through here carrying baskets and pigs. I guess that could have been them. That sounds like a weird a child time on. Staggering in front of them. Oh, that kid. This is I, Aestaha, forged of elemental crystal. So that's the new like boss? An evil lolly, yeah, I know. Beware evil lollies. You. So it's like a new weekly boss. You stand upon your tomb. Quake! There is a fine line between good and evil. This is order. Just this drop a giant rock on it. The ley lines that sustained me. So here lies the wisdom of the gods. All right. To dust. This is hey, neat. Wait a minute. Does this count as martial arts? Ready for trial. Hey, Yanfei. Right. A new cryo user. Cool. Breath of the flame. That's kind of cool. Inadmissible evidence. Well, I guess I've mastered both the pen and the sword. The People only thing that... that there we go. That's the character we all want. It easier to forgive me. That's who we want. We want that. Oh, sh oh, sheesh, the side boob. Oh, oh, yo, the, yo, that's the, yo, that's what we're talking about around here. Mike song. Noble. Another Genshin stream. Woo. Yeah, kind of right now. Ooh, Yula looking at those thighs out there. I like the belts and other things. Damn. Very classy. It's because they've never been branded a pariah before. I condemn you. Freeze to the core. So she's supposed to be like a physical cryo user. Mostly physical. Eye for an eye. Vengeance will be mine. Basically, she's better Rosaria. Okay. This serenity pot is all yours now. Serenity pot? Oh, so that takes you to the new player housing. There you go. So yeah, they're introducing oh, player housing. You needn't worry about that. Was is is Chi Chi being chased by Hu Tao? That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. Um. I've already arranged for a certain little helper to okay. hold you within this teapot. She, she want to bury that girl. Everything you need to know about. Yo, what it. up, sushi hyper? That's kind of cool. Wait, wait, you can get your characters inside? Okay, that's actually pretty cool. You can interact with your fucking characters inside your home? That's kind of cool. Oh, co-op used to demonstrate effects. The interactive feature of this Oh. Well, all right. Well, okay. That's not as cool then. Would have been cool to see like the characters you own just doing shit inside, interacting. That would have been fucking cool. Oh, well. So much for creativity. Damn, Dila got a nice crib out there. I kind of dig the, uh, the Monstat. A little bit more than the Liu Wei vibe. I want some Monstat home recreation here. But I wonder how much you can customize with it. It's gonna be a house without a guild hall? I see. And there you go! Another story with Zong Dong. Bringing his banner back just for that. Oh, here we go. So this is how... Oh, you can just make multiple homes? 
And you can place doggos. At will. It's kind of cool. Oh, what's the fuck? You just collect stuff? Huh? The fuck is that? Okay, Battlefront of Misty Dungeon? Oh, is this like a, a new thing that we can do daily? Are they going to introduce daily dungeons? Or is it just a... Oh, maybe. Would be nice. Oh, yeah, this is Prop Hunt. I forgot about... Yeah, they're introducing Prop Hunt. Good night, Lord Noble Senpai and chat off to work. Have a fantastic stream. The oil of Doi Hyper. Yo, JRM. Thank you, man. You have a good one. And subject going to something up here. Oh. Please tell me one breed of dog on that is husky. Yes, Ashley is definitely looking forward to the husky doggos. Uh, yeah, there's going to be husky doggos. Since there are huskies in the game, so. She, she literally messaged me she's going to fill her entire home with huskies. Oh, new hangout with Diona. Okay. And then the new artifacts. I guess the new artifacts are interesting here. The two-piece... The, the, the top one is literally meant for freaking Zongdong. There is no other character that can use that better than Zongdong. Period. It's, it's useless for anybody else except Zongdong. It's so dumb. <laughs> but uh, when elemental skill hits the report attack of all nearby members increased by 20% and their shield strength increased by 30% for 3 seconds. And it's triggered once every 0.5 seconds, so... Basically, the dicks can trigger it over and over again. Oh, I guess albedo. No, be, I don't know about albedo. Albedo, you kind of... You kind of want the geo set on him. HP doesn't really work too well for him. I mean, yeah, I can kind of work with albedo, but not really. Yeah, so it doesn't, it doesn't really work for albedo at all. So, kind of sad. Now, the, the, the physical piece is just by far superior to the other physical set in the Noblesse. 100%. That thing's broken as shit. Uh, yeah, basically, you get an attack increase. It can be triggered. Uh, and then once you get two stacks of 18% attack, you also get 50% physical damage bonus. That's crazy how good that physical set is. That's actually crazy. Two piece for Hu Tao, a twenty percent HP increase for Hu Tao. I mean, yeah, I guess she transfers that into attack, so I, I, I guess it could kind of work out. I, I don't know. Hu Tao is b better with the Crimson set, though the Crimson Witch. Wow, there was a lot going on in that trailer. It looks like Zhang Li is gonna have a new storyline here with a super tough looking dragon to fight. So be careful out there. Zach. I have a C2, it, hey, I think, Zong Dong. Or C1. Uh -huh. This dragon's got nothing on me. I'm yeah, not sure. Sure, Zach. You really expect us to believe that? <laughs> Personally, <laughs> I'm excited for these new characters. They look super cool. Yeah, and that sounds. I'm just really pissed off that we st we get the. Well, you'll see, but we're going to get Eula after Zong Dong. Right. I just want a new five star character. Why couldn't they just put the new characters, the two new characters on the same banner? They have to split them up and it's fucking annoying. Sounds like a solid place to start, so why don't I begin by introducing the new characters first? Sounds good to me. Alright. So there's Eula, alright. Pale Flame plus Blood Stained plus your Physical Damage Bonus Cup. Well, what you're going to want to do, you're going to want uh, just the new physical is just better than the old physical set. Because you'll get 50% all the time anyway. Well, maybe not all the time. You'll still have to like wait a little bit. I don't know. It's debatable. It'd probably be okay to mix and match. So you have it 100% of the time. You just need the two stacks in order to get the full effect. Basically, the new set's built for Eula. 
So, yep, yeah, she's got some fancy moves. She got a sword that looks like it kind of glows and blows up or something. She snapped it like Thanos. I'm not exactly certain what happened there. You want to learn some Favonia's blade work? <laughs> all right, then. I'll teach you. Oh, yes. I'll teach you all right. Whoa. Mark my words. Holy shit, mommy, please. Introducing our new playable character, Eula, captain of the Knights of Favonius Reconnaissance Company. She carries a cryovision and elegantly wields her frosty claymore. Yeah, the way she handles her weapon is truly amazing. Uh -huh. Like, she even did a cartwheel with her sword. No wonder she's called the Spindrift Knight. Yeah, the Spindrift her style uh. really stands out. Um, forget fighting. Her style is more like dancing or gymnastics. Seriously, she doesn't move like other Claymore wielders at all. Her motions are way lighter and more fluid. Perhaps okay. that's a result of the training passed down through her aristocratic bloodline. Oh, she's a descendant of the family that was once... Oh, dude. Dude, did you see that little hair flip she did when she did her all? She's like, bitch, you fucking dead. Okay, she's got some spunk to her. By the Knights of Favonius. Okay. Right? Mm hmm That is correct. Ooh, uh, I'm sensing a complex backstory here. Now, the question comes, why would she be serving in the Knights of Favonius? I don't know. For revenge? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Well, revenge. Yes and no. Although Eula often talks about taking revenge on others, she doesn't seem to mean it for real. As strange as it sounds, it's just her own way of expressing care for other people. Let's have a look at her skills, shall we? Okay. Yes, please. With her elemental skill, Ice Tide Vortex, Eula slashes swiftly, dealing okay. cryo damage. However, her elemental skill has different effects depending on whether you tap or hold the skill button. Okay. Ooh, interesting. Tell us more. Yeah. When tapping the elemental skill, Eula gains a stack of Grimheart by hitting an opponent. Grimheart increases Eula's defense and resistance to interruption. Sounds cool for a Claymore wielder. Okay. What will happen if we hold her elemental Dude, skill she attacks so fast. I was hoping you would ask that. When the skill is held, Eula consumes the stacks of Grimheart, and surrounding opponents will have their physical resistance and cryo resistance decreased. Now, each stack of Grimheart consumed will be converted into an Ice World brand that deals cryo damage to nearby opponents. Ooh, I'm loving her Grimheart mechanic already. Yeah, okay. me too. Eula's Elemental Burst, Glacial Illumination, deals cryo damage to nearby opponents and creates a Lightfall Sword that follows her around for a certain duration. When her own normal attacks, Elemental Skill and Elemental Burst deal damage to opponents, they will charge the Lightfall Sword until it explodes violently once its duration ends. An explosive okay. icy sword. Okay. Wow. That seems almost like a contradiction. I mean, ice that explodes? It's like... So, wait, do you want to build her with physical or do you want to build her with cryo? What, make up your goddamn mind. Which, what do you want to build her with? Doesn't make any goddamn sense. Mixing opposites. Right? But it's somehow fitting for her character, you know? A noble heir who joins the family's arch enemy, who moves elegantly but causes violent explosions, who manipulates cryo element her but is called the Her ultimate is cryo damage. So it won't scale with your physical damage. So it's like, it's annoying. <laughs> that's, that's really annoying. That's really fucking annoying. Uh, her burst is physical. Did you said it was cryo? Night. She's full of contradictions. Nice, Sarah. That's pretty deep. Thanks. <laughs> hey, why don't we take a look at our next new playable character in version 1.5? Sounds good. Hmm. Her elemental skill is cryo. Yeah, I know. Like, I feel like it should have been physical because it looked like they were trying to make a physical character. The new fucking set is based for physical fucking characters. Why don't they just make her a physical fucking ultimate? That way she's not split and she's like subpar because you have to split her DPS. It's fucking annoying. Yeah, Zinyan's physical. I 
I know her sword does. What the sword does physical when it explodes? Need a cure for insomnia? Huh. Let me read you the history of the development of Liwe's legal system. None of my friends have ever lasted longer than 20 minutes. The other new playable character Man, in version 1.5 is Yenfei, a legal advisor active in Liwe I really don't She's like her. She's a catalyst her. wielder and holds a pyrovision. Interestingly enough, I don't she know. happens to be part illuminated beast. Oh, just like Ganyu. Exactly. So, are those two sticks on her head her version of horns, or are they more like antlers? Wait, I thought those were her pigtails, no? No, no, no. No, Zach, not at all. Okay. Uh, those <laughs> are the symbol of her illuminated beast heritage. Okay, so question. Okay. Would that mean she knows Rex Lapis then, or would she be bound by a contract with Morax in some way? You mean like as a legal advisor for the god of contracts? That would be quite the big title, but yeah, something like that? Even Morax doesn't have command of all the Illuminated Beasts. Yenfei is one of the few that didn't sign a contract with him. Oh, oh. Why is that? She was born in a peaceful era. Therefore, there was no need for her to fight in any cruel wars like her predecessors. Interestingly, as a free Illuminated Beast, she's put herself in a profession where her job is to interpret laws and help others deal with conflicts and disputes. Man, okay, so her what a fucking boring-ass backstory. <laughs> She's a law advisor. Um, yeah. She just tells you how to do contracts and shit like that. Dude, what the fuck? What a fucking shitty fucking back. She's a fucking lawyer, dude. God. Her work is all related to contracts, right? Of course Rosaria's disappointing. Rosaria's like whatever. Pyro stamp slamming down when she attacks. She's a real you bad know, unit like compared to other units. Used to stamp a contract? Mm-hmm. You are correct. Both her normal attack, her elemental skill signed edict, and her elemental burst done deal grant her scarlet seals, which decrease you three point oh story consumption. But these scarlet seals are not the big seal you saw. Oh, oh Ganyu's fucking story was shit too. God, Ganyu's was so boring. She just works, and that's it. She's so fucking boring. Such a great character design, and they made her so fucking... Why is everyone's fucking character in the way so goddamn boring? Can't they make it interesting? Oh, so the Scarlet Seals must have been all those little red markings floating around her. That's right. When she uses her charged attack, Yenfei consumes all Scarlet Seals, which in turn... I mean, at least... Increase her okay, at least Chongyun's like a demon slayer or something like that. Um... And that's kind of neat, but, you know, they never really go into it. And he's already been power crept twice. Rosaria was the first better Chong Yoon, I should say. And then now they got fucking this new cryophysical girl. who's just a fucking 100% upgrade Chong Yoon. Area of effect and damage. Oh, so that's what I saw. It sure was. Oh, uh, one thing uh, I forgot to mention is that Yula and Yenfei have some special connections to one another. Uh, what would a knight in Mondstadt have to do with a legal advisor in Liyue Harbor? Yeah. Sounds like a mystery. Yes, indeed. One which the travelers will get to discover on their own. Leave it to me. They're um, lovers. Dude, no, I don't know. Leave it to us. Oh, yeah, <laughs> right. It's kind of cool uh, how she shoots right. fireballs, though. <laughs> Oh, you That's kind of neat. And that's all the latest we have on the new characters. Wait a minute. Didn't you forget something? I don't uh, know if she's going to be anything compared so. to you know, I, the I Cleonator, but Zach. <laughs> we'll Zach see. Zach was going to ask where we'll get to pull these adorable new characters from, right? Yeah. Oh, we'll, we'll get to that all, all in good time. Right now seems to be a good time for us to give away our first redemption code. Oh, now? For a letdown of a conclusion? <laughs> like I said, you never know when they'll appear. Like a pyro -ning? Precisely. A little bit, yeah. The first code will be unearthed in three, two, one. And there's your code, you mad lads. Oh, am I blocking it? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll type it for you. FS6SU367. Six seven M two seven nine. There you go. Here's your code. Pause is a blocker. Ah, I typed it for you. Get your code. It's a hundred primos plus ten crystals. There you go, man. Isn't there like a way to skip forward? I thought. 
only fitting to collect some rewards before we talk about event wishes in version 1.5. Okay. Yeah. All right. Case All right. sensitive. I know you guys are anxious All caps, to by hear the way. more. Oh, well. In version 1.5. The two five-star characters, Zhongli and Yula, will appear successively in their own separate event wishes. Many of the players have been waiting for Zhongli's return, and it's finally happening! The players have been waiting, I've been waiting! Okay, to elaborate, <laughs> Yen Fei will be featured in Zhongli's event wish, Gentry of Hermitage. The exact- yeah! Fuck you, mihoyo! Let me summon characters that are new on the same banner, alright? I don't want- Fucking you cocksuckers. Dates and durations for the event wishes will be officially announced later. Aside God. from the new characters, a new five-star weapon and Fuck two sets you. of new artifacts will also be released in version 1.5. Ooh, very uh. cool. That new the claim song of Broken Pines. It sort of reminds me of the five-star bow Elegy for the End from version 1.4. All right. Oh, good observation. Please help me catch you, Zongli and Eula. Song of Broken Pines. Well, I don't know anything about Eula yet, but Zongli goes bonus. in literally any team ever. It has quite a poetic name, too. I wonder if it belongs to the same series as Elegy for the End. Perhaps. And okay. there may even be a, a new five-star weapon. Wow, wow, wow. Already feel a story coming. Look, guys, we can you know, roll for a new five-star weapon. Story, Can't wait. I just want to break out the popcorn. <laughs> I know exactly Don't what you guys mean. want. That uh, yeah. Yes, it's a very epic and a new physical long sword, probably. Story. Uh, yes, a very long story. <laughs> you guys really have big imaginations. You know that. Look, aside from the weapons, there will be two sets of new artifacts for players to collect: tenacity of the millilith and pale flame. Ooh, awesome! Where can we get that? I can't wait to spend a thousand dollars to maybe get the song of broken pines. A new domain, and that is correct. The new domain Ridge Watch will be available to travelers after the version update. Now it's located oh. in the mountainous area that connects Mondstadt and Liyue. Finally, we're getting a teleport waypoint there. That's always been one of the harder areas for. Oh my God! Finally! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking finally! We can just teleport there! It's about goddamn time! That's the best update yet! I don't I don't have a need for any other fucking temporary waypoints anymore with that there. Players to reach. Yeah, I bet a lot of people have used their portable waypoints to get there. Yep. Now we can save those for some other places. <laughs> In addition to the new gear, some new storylines will be released too. After the version 1.5 update, Diona's Hangout event and Act 2 of Noelle's Hangout event will be Wait, available what? for players to enjoy. Noelle's getting Act another one? Noelle? That is so sweet. I really love the Hangout memory illustrations with Noelle. Okay, but that's not the I only I actually have not done the Hangout 5. stuff. I should probably Ooh. do Act that. Act 2 of Zhang Li's story quest will be released in the update as well, followed by Yula's own story quest. Wow, Makes sense. I already can't wait to see more of Zhang Li's storyline. Can you tell us more about what's going to happen, Keith? Well, as you saw in the trailer, the dragon Ajdaha, who seems to have some, let's say, history with Zhang Li, will be making an appearance in Zhang Li's story quest. Sounds interesting, but uh, who exactly is this Ajdaha? Oh, it was mentioned in the quest about the nameless Zhang treasure. Zhang Li's story was great. Like yeah, it was Mr. pretty Zhang good. Zhang past is finding its way back to him. Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. And meeting oh. those who share the memory leaves a Aether disappeared there temporarily. Right. Sarah, Where did he, it's him! Where did he go? <laughs> you guys. Okay. In a word, Ajdaha is going you also to play have not done the, the hangouts? Yeah. story quest. And the disturbance it causes will also pose a serious threat to the I've Leo. unlocked them, but furthermore, this dragon will become a weakly boss. So let's take a closer look. This story's look full of salt, it is. I can't believe there's actually act twos of story quests. You see, my favorite thing is the fact that there's so many other characters that haven't gotten shit, and Zong Lee's getting is the act two already. Like, okay, Mihoyo, I see who you favor here. I see who you're catering to. Alright, new epic boss. <laughs> Catching story quest never. Chong Yu's hangout is boring. From what I saw, it didn't look that good. 
Oh, all right. So we got big boy coming in, shooting some lightning. That's kind of cool. That's kind of neat. All right then. I don't know. Fat she dragon. It's kind of cute. Uh oh, Sarah wants a new pet now. <laughs> yeah, kind of <laughs> cute, like it's gonna rip off my head. <laughs> no, I mean it's got that little cute smirk happening. I think it's kind of cute. Oh, that's true. Right, and and it's. And he's got like a million nipples coming out of his fucking belly. I don't know. It's got those branches on its tail, and and remember this place? There was a girl standing under a tree, mumbling about the awakening of some most awe-inspiring individual. Uh huh. Remember? Oh right, yeah. So she was talking about Ajdaha. She was. Beneath the tree, or as it's called, the Dragon Queller, is the cavern where Ajdaha was sealed away. Oh, this Zong new Dong's pillars are going. Me of Geo bishops. Absolutely. They have plenty of similar traits. As a boss, Ajdaha can change its element, hence the different colors you see on its body. Cool. It seems like when it switches its element, the surroundings and the domain change too. That's oh, cool. Looks like there will be a variety of conditions for us to deal with. Ooh, are you excited, Zach? Well, with neat. all the lessons I've learned from fighting Geo Bishops, I'm confident that I can crush this Lord of Bishops. Good luck, Zach. You're the man. <laughs> okay, the next new monster we're about to meet will be a new member of the hypostasis family, the cryo oh. hypostasis. Let's oh. see it in action. So there's a cryo hypostasis. So now they're making a cryo cube. Why do we need another boss to farm that's a cube? I mean, all right. Yeah, there's the Klee. She's just laughing her fucking ass off right now. About the shit all over this thing's existence. Oh, it's got like a little pinwheel. Okay, it does the same attacks there. Same things as the other cubes. All right. It off if yeah. can't break the shield. So how love you, Lost Boss. Thanks, man. Down. Love you too, brother. Oh, I know the love answer you too, to brother. this one. Oh, you will? Okay, good. Figure it out on their own in version 1.5. <laughs> and with that, the apprentice has become the master. <laughs> yes, you are getting the idea. And there's one other new. The house thing sounds better, than, and Eula looks cool. Yeah. Perhaps you two. I don't know the how the hell she's gonna work with. So I'm gonna need to like 4? to mess oh, around with that her, her kit. Dude that works for me? Well, technically, he would be my gigantic blue dude if you are the traveler. Oh, okay, hmm. sorry. Hope I'm Seriously, doing well. Do you do good. DJ about Sparky. everything? Yes. <laughs> anyway, it, it turns out that another one of the Abyss Order's elite monsters <laughs> will be making a debut in version 1.5. The Abyss Lector. Let's take a look, shall we? The Abyss Lector. Oh. Okay. So another book. Okay. Oh. Huh. Oh, Albedo's there. Imagine not using Albedo as support. Come on, man. The garbage king, Albedo. Okay, one thing to be noted is that some of the Abyss Lector's attacks will decrease characters' elemental energy once they hit their opponents. So be sure to dodge those. If only it was that easy. Yeah. Hmm. This seems really okay. cool. All right, Zach, I know you well enough. What are you thinking about over there? <laughs> well, the Abyss Herald we met before was like an assassin, whereas mm -hmm. this Abyss Lector we see now seems more like a mage. The Herald could manipulate the Hydro Element, while the Lector manipulates the Electro Element. Now that I think about it, what if I could put them on my team? Well, uh, oh, the yeah, Blade! This is the 500 speaking, bits too, man! That would make a very good team. <laughs> well, that could you miss be when people pause, lost pause? <laughs> I'm sure the They'll lost me all the said, time. They got clips. I will have order. And now we have the abyss order. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, that's everything we have for our new monsters. So next, oh, that's we will it? get a peek of an all. I wonder if they're going to be in like the abyss. If they're going to add like uh, at the bottom of the abyss, you're going to have to fight these guys. Maybe both at the same time. That'd be crazy. All new permanent feature called Serena Teapot, which will be available starting in version 1.5. Okay. Zach, I'll leave this part to you. Got it. Definitely will be in the abyss. After we Probably. help the city get through its crisis, the Adepti of Liyue have taken note of our hard work. Knowing we are outlanders who often camp out in the wilds, they decided to give us a Serena teapot as a gift. Okay. Camping in the <laughs> wilds? Zach, we never camp. Wait, can you yeah, get we, different we surroundings? Different homes? Keep adventuring through the night. <laughs> yeah. Serena <laughs> teapot. 
I like the name. So, is Don't... this Serena teapot sort of like Madame Ping's magical teapot? Yeah, huh. it's what's known as a realm within. Ooh, it sounds exciting. That was really nice of them. I hope it wasn't too difficult to make. Well, Don't... the Adept Eye of Liu are mighty illuminated beings with great power. Creating a realm within is Enter nothing your but creating teapot. a little trinket for them. Keith, you sound so cool. Uh, you anyways... sound cool. <laughs> oh, thanks. Don't... Let's take a closer look inside this no, so you sound cool. teapot. For okay. starters, there are three different realm layouts for us to choose from. Ooh. Floating Abode, Emerald Peak, and Cool Isle. Wow, so this is what the Adept Oh, this is going to be tough for me. Trinket? Floating <laughs> Abode or Cool Isle? Inside the realm, you'll find Ooh, Tony, that's tough. a teapot spirit who manages all the general affairs in the realm within. That's tough. Ooh, just like a butler. Oh my gosh, Tubby is so round and cute. Mm. I love Don't... it. And it plays an important role in trust our realm, rank. too. When we raise its trust rank, it will give us some rewards and unlock new features for our Ooh, realm. Ooh, windmill. For example, the three different realm layouts. We'll have to increase our trust rank Don't... if we want to unlock them all. Okay. Okay, so question. If I rub Tubby, will it grant me three wishes? What are you talking about? Tubby's not a genie. Burb in a pot. Okay, yeah. okay. I was just thinking, you know, magic lamp, magic teapot. Uh, so anyway, how do we increece trust <gasps> rank with Tubby? Then? Oh, shit! Oh, God, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Whenever we create the alerts new are going crazy. Tubby's Thank you, trust guys. increases. Moreover, with the help of the teapot spirit, we'll collect various blueprints from different sources. Once okay. we've collected the necessary materials for creating furnishings, we can make those furnishings in the serenity. Oh, so that's what you can use all that use orb them for. to decorate our home. I of see. course, we can also buy some furnishings directly from Tubby. Good. I'd like an ornate glazed lily pattern incense burner. Really? That's, that's a cool. super specific choice. Well, I'm a super specific guy. <laughs> I miss when people anyway, lost this Serena calls. teapot will be a large the personal Thank realm you, that players may manage. Oh, they can take their theater. time considering how to decorate the space and can fill Dude, it with looks the things fun. they like to make it feel like home. This actually I looks see. like fun. Okay. So I know Ash is going to prepare some radiant. She's going to be doing a bunch of crazy stuff starters. to make her home. Okay, first like, of all, nice. your standard of home is way too high. And that's wrong because. <laughs> that is way I mean, too close. You know what? You do you. You do you. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> well, if we are short of any practical decoration ideas, we can also Genshin apply to Sims, enter our I know, realms you know. for some inspiration. We can just or stop Chino. by for a visit and snap some nice photos. Ooh, that means we can throw parties in our personal realms. That'll be so fun. I should be like, are come join me in my home, on dear. Your ultra exclusive guest come list check out my huskies, Noble. <laughs> nope. Look at Zach. my huskies, Noble. <laughs> Just kidding. Just have like a billion huskies in <laughs> you our know, front yard. You know, we're going from roughing it in the wild to luxurious house parties. Oh. I'm really excited for this one. Yeah, and the realms seem very large, too. Large enough to unleash your imagination. Yeah, we can so create how big views can you make your house? house and arrange the layouts of furnishings. And as we put more furnishings into the Serena teapot, our adeptal energy increases, enabling the realm to produce more realm currency. So realm currency? more furnishings increase adeptal energy. I like the sound of that. I knew you'd like that. So okay. with this new realm currency you mentioned comes a new way of exchanging, so you just I suppose? put shit That's everywhere? Right. We can exchange realm currency for a variety of materials and rewards. And sometimes a teapot traveling salesman carrying realm treasures might appear. So be sure to check it out. Note it. Uh, so you can get your Sheba's Northland Hounds Sheriff Cat. Oh, okay. So you can get some special stuff. Interesting. Okay, okay. So it's just stuff to make your house look better. Whew, there's already a lot on everyone's to-do list for this feature. So you can always get and something there nice. There might be even more to come in the future. Let's wait and see what the Serena teapot. Yep, gets there's all your together. animals. I will, and in the meantime, oh my God. I will stuff do they move? Realm with do they follow you? Furnishings. Or do they just stay all right, there? Just please don't make Tubby work too hard. I won't. And as always, I'm sure the Dude, Ash is just gonna put dogs everywhere. Uh, huh? Wait, um, wait a minute. It's just what? gonna be Can full of fucking well, I huskies. Well, the two of you together, you might be able to cover it. I don't have any. No, I don't think so. Okay, okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> You should have seen your faces right then. <laughs> all right. Anyways, that's all the news. Make we New have York City in a teapot feature. In the next section, we'll get to learn about some exciting events that will be exclusive to version 1.5. But now oh, it seems about time cat. to give away our second redemption code. Yeah, more rewards. Okay. Practically speaking, the faster you act, the better. Goodies inbound in three, 
two, one. Oh man. Hey, there's your Eula. Oh my God, Booba. Eula, more like Booba. Uh, three, six, seven, five, J, eight, D. There you go. There's the mama right there, man. Ooh, baby. You love more like Booba. Misaka prominence. Oh, man. Yep, she's even holding the fucking new sword. Gee, I wonder if that sword's designed for Eula specifically to make her OP OP. I wonder. Make sure to spend thousands of dollars to make your new waifu really OP, chat. There Welcome you go. back, adventurers. It's time to unveil the special events. More fan art is coming, yeah. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, so first on the list is an event called Energy Amplifier Initiation. Okay. In this event, a Sumeru researcher will ask us to gather Irminsul fruit fragments. For a time, we'll be entrusted with a mysterious ancient relic, the Energy Amplifier. Okay. With this relic, we can unleash the power of the fragments we collect. During the event, this energy amplifier will grant us some effects in combat. So it really is literally amplifying our abilities. Wow! Speaking of ancient relics, okay. I feel like Mr. Zhongli would know something about that. Mm-hmm. What are you looking at me for? You know I'm not really Zhongli, right? Oh. But I do <laughs> happen to have some insight on the energy amplifier. Yeah, okay. For one, there are variations of how you can configure the fragments into the energy amplifier. One variable, motive right. force, uh. affects how many fragments one can configure. The higher the sum of your character's levels, the higher motive force you can provide to the energy amplifier. Uh. With higher motive force, players will be able to equip more high quality Oh, you can just use your homies. What if I don't have enough characters at higher levels? As always, Zach, that's where your friends come in. You just can get borrow friends. up to three characters from your friends to increase your motive force. Just you get your back? homies. Oh, friends. Steal from your homies. <laughs> yeah, got it. Uh, so the question then is, how do we gather all the fragments? There are plenty of fragments spread all over the map. Okay. We'll search for the fragments in places of interest throughout the open world. But it won't be easy to get treasures friends, as powerful yeah, I know, as killer. fruit fragments. It's rough out here, brother. Players will have to get rid of any trouble circling around the fragments before they're able to collect them. Ah, okay. that makes sense. And we'll also be able to enter something called a Twisted Realm in the later phase of the event. All right. Twisted Realm? Sounds like a teapot gone wrong. Oh, so you fight the Abyss <laughs> Herald exactly. there. There are four domains in the Twisted Realm, and each has different bizarre twists. We'll be able to oh. select the difficulty and conditions for the domains we enter, just as in the previous Hypostatic Symphony event. Okay. Of course, higher difficulties will grant better rewards. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good so to me. So this will be one for players who are looking for some serious challenges. And good. I should mention that a contract with Diona, the bartender of Mondstadt, will be one of the various rewards from the event shop. Cool. No. It sounds like we can add her to our team by participating a in all free kinds Diona. of activities from the event. Good thing I have her at Constellation 8 or whatever I'm at. I don't to know. introduce is called Battlefront, Misty Dungeon. Oh. Huh? This sounds like a completely different kind of game. In this you mean event, alt accounts? Yes, yeah, Twig. Get your, your alt accounts team. ready. And we'll only be able to use characters from a set pool of trial characters from the event. Huh? Throughout the trials, our team will not form any elemental resonance, and food and potions in our inventory will also not be accessible. Okay. <sighs> now that sounds tough. <laughs> but so you just have to each use. Trial, we can preview the monsters we'll be encountering, along with some corresponding tips and tasks. So, it is possible for us to choose characters that fit the conditions before we start. Nice, right? Yeah. Oh. That's a relief. Whew. So, what do Amber. we need to do to pass these trials? <laughs> Amber! Each trial, players need to activate all three of the ancient oh, you runes within the time limit to gain Amber, access to the final idiot. challenge. There are benediction anyway, mechanics um, with the trials, which allow players to obtain certain bonus okay. effects and make it easier to complete the trials. At the same time, there are also some automated weapon systems that will detect and attack uh -huh. any intruders. Players will need to use the appropriate reactions to temporarily disable these devices. Uh, We're okay. definitely going to have to use our heads to get the right strategies. Totally. And They're just going to make you use Amber for the memes. And other materials awaiting, it'll definitely be worth a shot. Primo so, gems? So you can't oh, use I'm your in. characters, but other characters. Our next event is called Mimi Tomo. So it's like a roguelike of sense. Hillichurlian? You nailed it. 
This event is about a certain unusual hilly churl we might encounter in various locations. Oh, that thing? I see. That thing's it's annoying. the one that throws primo gems at players, right? Okay, to viewers who are searching for where you can find this unusual hilly churl right now, just know you can't actually use the primo gems it throws at you. Lately, this unusual hilly churl has been stirring up trouble on the merchant routes. Okay. It's time for us to teach it a lesson. But this hilly churl is At not least with an like the Zong Li thing, so I'm not going to be too upset. An expert. Because Perhaps getting more constellations of Zong Dong is Musk? okay with me. Yeah, you mean that little girl in the library? So it's time for her to teach us a lesson. <laughs> yeah. Oh. We'll be utilizing the handy handbook of Hilly Churlian from her to communicate with other Hilly Churls for intel on the okay. whereabouts of this unusual Hilly Churl. That seems like fun, but I'm not sure I can memorize that much Hilly Churlian. So we're supposed you to write it down, find him. Or you can take a screenshot. Oh, yeah, a screenshot. Now that's good advice. The only question now is, how reliable is this handy handbook of Hilly Churlian? After all, it has a disclaimer on its title page saying it cannot be held responsible for any consequences of its use. Wait, so you're saying it could potentially do more harm than good? If that's the case, we'll have okay. to persuade the hilly churls by physical means. Ooh, now that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, fuck we those hilly churls. persuasive that way. That wouldn't be persuasion. Wait, no, oh. I'm confused. We're talking about... Imagine actually having trouble fight the unusual right? hilly churl. Like that type of persuasion? Oh, apples. You threw a cabbage at you. <laughs> now you're making me feel like I'm a bad person. <laughs> anyway, players will gain some furnishing oh, you blueprints, get some furnishing primo blueprints. gems, and other rewards from the event. So be sure not to miss out on this one. It's all right. Our next event is simply called Wind Trace. Personally, I'd like you to call it hide and seek. All right. Sounds fun. Okay. And in case you're wondering, Wind Trace actually originates from when ancient nobles were hunting for rebels in His Mondstadt. name is Gigats. Uh, okay. Now things are starting to sound a little bit scary. <laughs> no worries, Zach. What the Today fuck? it's transcended from its dark history, okay. passing down only the names of the two sides, Hunter and Rebels. Oh, so what does a round of Wind Trace look like? I'm glad you asked, Zach. We're going to show it. Players will be playing in contested zones. They will be allocated one of the two sides, the Hunter or the rebels. The rebels hide and the hunter seeks. But there's more to it than just that. The rebels can use their windward arts to disguise themselves, place bait, or temporarily enter a hidden state. Okay. All right, sounds interesting. How about the hunter? What can they do? The so hunter can use various arts to detect the location of the rebels and disable their tricks and disguises. So, the two sides are really going at it then. It's not really hiding, yeah. though. And during the game, favors will descend upon the area at random, and both sides can pick up these favors to help charge up their own so-called secret favor. Okay. There are five contested zones in the open world, so those who are familiar with all the areas and terrain will have some advantages. Good news for those huh. treasure chest hunters out there. I guess, <laughs> yeah. but like... Players will obtain Wind Trace coins from the event. It and feels a lot like of the hunter's going to have it easiest. Including a Wind Trace-themed name card. But if you play the game in co-op mode with your friends, or if you've already reached the daily limit of obtainable Wind Trace coins, then you won't be able to gain any more. Ah, oh, I see. Oh. I hope you'll all enjoy this little game. The daily limit. Our final event just is a called mini game. Overflowing Mastery. Hmm. Yeah, it's just we Prop Hunt. Line overflow before, prop Hunt's right? okay. I think That's Prop right. Hunt's fun. Only this time, we will have doubled talent level up materials. During the event, we will have three chances daily to collect double rewards using original resin from selected Okay, that's pretty mastery. good. If I'm not mistaken, this is the first time we'll have an event that doubles talent level up materials. That's huge. Exactly. All right, that's nice. So if you need to grind for talent level up materials, this will be your chance. I bet Only everybody's going to love that. All right, that's about all we have for the special events in version 1.5. As always, the last part of our version previews will be regarding new optimizations and adjustments coming to the game. Keith, would you like to explain the coming changes for version 1.5 to our viewers? Sure thing. Starting from version 1.5, the cost of original resin to claim rewards for the first three weekly bosses will be reduced from 60 to 30. Okay, that's half the cost. Yeah, yeah. wow. And we'll have a total of four weekly bosses, so that means we'll be able to claim... Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Is, is this not permanent? 
special events in version 1.5. Is that not permanent? As always, the last part of our version previews will be regarding new optimizations and adjustments coming to the game. Keith, would you like to explain the coming changes for version 1.5 to our viewers? Sure thing. Starting from version 1.5, the cost of original resin to claim rewards for the first three weekly bosses will be reduced from 60 to 30. Right. The first three. So only three weekly bosses, not all. That's what was confusing. So, okay. But you're... Oh. So... Get, all right, whatever, I guess. It's, right. it's, it's 90 resin saved, I guess. 90 resin saved, sure. Okay, that's half the cost. Yeah, and we'll have a total of four weekly bosses, so that means we'll be able to claim rewards from all the weekly bosses using a single day's resin. And yeah, I know we're getting four weekly bosses. Original resin so. left over. Oh, check you out, Sarah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next, after the version update, Character companionship experience gained while playing in team with other players in co-op mode will be doubled. So, if we want to accelerate our friendship with some characters and learn more about their stories, we can defeat bosses or clear domains with other oh. players in co-op mode. Oh yes, no need to remind me on the importance of that friends again. is much better. Oh, sorry, Zach. You see, because I I never wanted to do domains with Ashley because I wanted to level up my friendship with certain characters, but this. This is definitely good. <laughs> <laughs> Need some more of those. The you third get less overall? Will be about no, it's doubled, ain't it? If you do just two, you get two characters and you'll get double that. That's pretty good. Mailing alerts for when events are ending. After the version update, Genshin Impact will send mail alerts to players. So if you just have a duo, your two characters ending. will get double experience. Yeah, the same. Considering There's all the unique gameplay just and all loads in of rewards the two characters. from those limited time events, it would be a pity to miss them. Definitely. For players who are too busy to check the end time of each event, the mail alert will for sure come in handy. So doing is the yeah, way to go. Absolutely. Our last optimization coming in version... To be fair, I hate doing four co-op, four player co-op dungeons. That's gross. Not being able to switch, which is one of the game's like main mechanics, especially some characters that need to be switched, like Hu Tao. Like having a dead Hu Tao is just the worst feeling ever. 1.5 will be about slimming down the game's overall size. Oh, that sounds kind of cool. With this optimization, players can manage the voiceover files they've installed. If you no longer want to keep the audio files for a certain language, you can delete the corresponding voiceover files. Yeah, just get rid of those Japanese and that voices. Audio pack will not update in we don't need those. Updates. Ever. I imagine that could save quite a bit of space. I know audio files can be massive. Aw, but what if they decide to delete the English voiceovers? No, don't delete us, please! Yeah, fuck you, Don't you want to hear English. more of me? Well, there's not much no. of us in there anyway. <laughs> oh, well, okay, yeah. I guess it doesn't hurt New that much. New dev Q&A on the way. housing system? No, no, no it, it does hurt because Zhongli has a lot to say. So, so please, keep, keep the English files. <laughs> <laughs> what they really need to do, though, is being able to mix Japanese, all the voiceovers... Just choose a character, what voice you want in each character. Please, it would make Bennett so much more bearable. If you like us, then please keep the English voiceovers, everyone. And on that note, it's time to release the third redemption code to our loyal viewers. Yay! Are you ready? Three, two, one, go! Only mute Paimon. And there's your last redemption code, guys. It is A T P T U. Oops, U. A J P P fifty three Q H. There you go. There you go. And that's the end. Ain't nothing left there. All right. So that's that's the end of that. You said there was a new uh, housing system, new Q and A on the housing system or something. Or is that it? No, that's it. That's all we get, chat. Beneath the light trailer. Oh, okay, so you get them all separate right there. All right. There's more on China's? Oh, I, I don't know. There's more? All right. 
fine. We'll watch more. All right, we keep watching. We keep watching, chat. Well, I hope everyone has caught all the codes. And I think it's about time to wrap up the show. Ooh, time really flew by. Yeah, I know, right? I thought the chasm was coming out. Guess not. How did you like your first special program, Sarah? I've loved being here with you guys. It's so special. I really thought and the fun. chasm was coming out. The twins got to be reunited, even if it was only for a little it's bit. It's after this? Um, Oof. I really hope that they'll invite me for more special programs in the future because this was super fun. Yeah, I hope so too. And how about you, Keith? How did you like doing the special program? Are you kidding? I love the chasm this. got halted. What's better than oh. being able to make all of these announcements? And That's everyone's rough. So hyped to find out what's in store, and uh, we get to be the people to share that with. Don't us. bother so, uh, asking streamers amazing. about leaks. Plus, yeah, even I'm if I knew, I don't think I would tell you guys because it yeah, goes against <laughs> their their TOS. All right, thanks for watching the Genshin Impact version one. So I don't know shit about program, Genshin. Everyone. Besides, why the and fuck would I they tell some random YouTubers? Bye, everybody. Yo, here's all the See leaks. Version 1.5. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Take care. Bye. Bye. Are you still there? Oh, yes. I was hoping you'd still be there because Rasha, those are Genshin codes. For you. Well, actually, Check those are Genshin up. codes. <laughs> those are oh, oh. So, hey, Inazuma location sneak peeks. Oh, there's like a dead little coast there. Oh, poggers. Yo, check that out. A little railway, a floating little island there. That's kind of cool. And then the Inazuma town. Oh. Okay. We got a little something there. A little sum sum. Not bad. Inazuma looks massive. Yeah. Looks like I hope it is, because otherwise I'll be extraordinarily bored. <laughs> I don't want to be bored, but that looked pretty neat. That looked neat. Can't wait to see where that's going there.